Dire report today about the effects of climate change and birds. Half the species in North America are in danger of losing critical habitat. KPI X5's Don Ford on the report and the birds that are most threatened. The National Audubon Society released an alarming report today, and the local chapter's executive director is worried. It's really quite astonishing. What they found is that nearly half of all species in North America are actually imperiled by climate conditions that we're, we have set into motion. The study claims global warming is the cause, but it will take until 2050 or even 2080 to see the final effects. It seems like a long time to us, but for species that have finally adapted over thousands of years, that's actually a really tight time horizon. Common birds in our region, like the Allen's hummingbird, might lose all of its habitat. The black oyster catcher, its food supply could be dried up, and the brown pelican may be forced north. I mean, can you imagine the bay without pelicans? That would be really awful. At the University of California, Berkeley, Dr. Steven Beisinger is professor of conservation biology. Do the species have time to react? They can move. They can adapt in, in place, or they can go extinct. The professor points out that global warming may be good for some birds. Some of the common ones, like morning doves, look like they could be favored by climate change. In Washington, where the report was released, the director of the Fish and Wildlife says it's not just about birds. Where birds thrive, people prosper. And so as you think about the 2014 State of the Birds report, think about that notion where birds thrive, people prosper. Although it'll be half a century before we know if the predictions in the report happen or not, everyone still agrees change is coming. In Berkeley, Don Ford, KPIX5.